Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. In our last episode, we began the Mrs. Tittlemouse applique character square. We traced and cut out her bonderweb pieces and ironed them onto their designated fabrics. We then cut out those fabrics and we placed them down onto our backing fabric, which was the cream spot. We then ironed her down and I'm up to stitching around all of her areas today. I'm going to be using my sewing machine to stitch around her, but while I set up my machine, here's a little bit about Mrs. Tittlemouse. So my machine's all set up, I'm using a white thread and I'm going to stitch around her areas in one go. I think that looks a lot more fluid and playful. Time to get stitching. So I've stitched around Mrs. Tittlemouse using my sewing machine. I've taken the drawing with thread approach, just freely sewing around and randomly stitching in all the areas. She's looking good. I need to give her a press and pack away my machine. So I've given Mrs. Tittlemouse a press. While I've got the iron out, I'm going to be ironing on these bug motifs. I've got two dragonflies. I think it links in well with her story when those pesky bugs in her house. I'm going to be working out my placement first, then pressing them on. So here we have the final Mrs. Tittlemouse applique character square. As you can see, I've pressed on her dragonflies and I've also stitched down these little daisies. I think they're quite pretty and they link in with her dress. I hope you enjoyed making your Mrs. Tittlemouse applique square. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified for future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time with issue number 30 when we make the Checker Star Square. See you next time. Bye.